<clears throat> I'd like to give a little bit of history about the album, at least uh, the typographical history of the title. <laughs> we announced once on stage in New York City that we uh, were excited that we had used an ampersand in the album title because it was our first time using a symbol in, a, in an album title of ours. And 75% uh, of the people at our shows are English majors. So... <laughs> See? So some asshole in the front uh, yelled out, it's not a symbol, it's a ligature. Um, we, were, we were kind of, you know, we're always excited to learn something new and yet always a little embarrassed that we didn't know it before. So we went home to check up on the information that had been imparted to us from, from the darkness. And... Uh, I found out uh, that, in fact, the ampersand uh, is a ligature. A ligature, of course, is a typographical symbol. It comes from the combining of two letters. Like uh, in encyclopedic, when you write it with the A and E written together. Encyclopedic. <laughs> that, that A and E together is a ligature. Also, Oedipal, if you were to write the O and the E together, like Oedipal. That's a ligature. And it turns out the ampersand uh, was originally a ligature of the letters E and T, which make the Latin word et for and. And that's, it morphed into various other forms and finally arrived at the one that we commonly use today. But it is, in fact, a ligature, or at least its origins are there. But it's also a symbol. So we were not wrong, Kenneth. That's good to know. <laughs> Anyway, more interesting than the typographical history of the ampersand <laughs> is the etymology of the word ampersand itself. So much more fascinating. <laughs> the word ampersand comes from a time long ago when the symbol, the ampersand, the ligature, whatever you want to call it, was uh, considered to be one of the letters of the alphabet. As a matter of fact, the 27th letter of the alphabet came after Z, and it was the letter and. And was a letter. <laughs> and. Written as ampersand. And in those days, when you would recite the alphabet, uh, when, <laughs> when you came to a letter that was in, in itself a word, like A or I, which are, you know, can be a letter, but also the letter by itself can, is also a word. <laughs> when you recite the alphabet and you come to one of those letters, you have to say the words per se before the letter to indicate that you're referring to the letter and not the word. So you would recite the alphabet and you would say per se A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, per se I, etc. And when you got to the end, you would say, X, Y, Z, and per se, and. Which was, of course, shortened to ampersand. I think it's a load of bull. I don't, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It has been vetted by the scrupulous editors at Wikipedia. <laughs> Nothing gets by them. <laughs> swing low, swing low, for to carry me home in fire the skies of red. My breath's got cold, a kiss from the cold, a blanket of snow. 